Africa. Wesh Pavi. Let's go down the line of a Capricorn for September 2019. What's going on in the first half of September with you guys? Are you guys procrastinating a move that you know you need to make? <laughs> hey, Boohead, this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you uh, without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? Also, thank you all for the love, the shares, the likes, the subscribes, the donations, uh, the donations after the damn readings that I be doing as a tip. Thank y'all so very much, you guys. I really appreciate it from the most humblest space ever, okay? Some of you guys got Sagittarius trying to lead your life. And I feel like some of you guys are contemplating on if that's the right move or not. And you know damn well what the answer is. Let's talk about it, all right? Also, um, because I'm sorry, I just had to let Puppy ass out of here. Y'all know he's a sage. Um, but <laughs> also, you guys, check the community tab very, 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 very much so often. The month of September and October, things are going to be changing. I am going on vacation, um, starting, the, I believe we're leaving on the 20th. I'll take the 22nd. We'll be actually leaving on the 20th. And I'll be going uh, up until, I believe, the 27th or the 28th. Okay, so you guys, if you need a personal reading, it's very imperative that you go ahead and get it in now. Schedules and slides do go fast. You know, I only make you wait anywhere between 24 to 48 hours for your reading. I try and treat everybody like the damn... With, like the non patient having ass self that I can be sometimes being an Aries, okay? So I try to keep that same energy with everybody else. Don't nobody got time to be waiting five or six days. No. Only reading that are done the same day is the emergency, okay? And they, they will be definitely done the same day. I don't like pre recorded readings. I prefer over the phone or uh FaceTime either on IG, we could do hangouts, etc. Okay. I'm getting a lot of questions about that. So I'm gonna go over that spiel and every damn reading. So just get past this point, okay? If you got to this point already. Also uh, this will be from now until the so the first to the fifteenth of September. I will definitely be dropping mid months. I gotta do them early because I cannot be late. So the good news is Mocha gonna be on time. <laughs> also, if you have not followed me on Instagram, please do so at Mocha underscore Love underscore Tarot. I gotta go on there today to do the weeklies. Uh, at the latest tomorrow, I usually do them Monday. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Sundays and Mondays. So at the latest, they'll be there tomorrow. But go follow, go follow. We family. That's my way of letting you into my personal world. My personal world. You know, I'm transparent as fuck. We don't hide nothing. I got a sense of humor. Don't be sensitive trying to follow me on Instagram because I make fun of me sometimes. All right. So let's say uh, let, let let's go ahead and get started with the reading, guys. This will be the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Capricorn. To the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. We cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We evolve. Poppy vibes only. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't get in the comments with that bullshit because I'm not for it. I'm going to ignore you, block you, and I'm not really for it. Don't come for none of my other family members. And this is for the new people because I'm, I'm, I've am i kind of been peeping the, uh, the, the synchronicities of the people who are coming for me or coming for my people. Don't do that because if you're looking for me to save your ass in that comment section, I'm going to turn my motherfucking head because you bought it up on yourself don't do that okay so with that said let's get it all right we're gonna start with the intuitive messages for the month of september for you all guess what if you cross watching for a tourist they might get a video for the month of september i feel bad leaving them out but i gotta return the energy you guys you gotta give what you're getting okay period all right so let's get it for capricorn you guys this message for the first half of september whoa we turn to y'all got you You guys, I got focused intent, front row seat, karmic releases, truth regarding inheritance, fear of the unknown, new career, family, legacy, focus, forgiveness, heart chakra, issues with receiving, new love, mental clarity, momentum. Self-confidence, I'm sorry, self-confidence blockages, spiritual awakening, spiritually protected, keep it close to your chest, frenemies, investments, okay? So if any of those uh, messages did resonate with you, this is definitely your message, okay? Overall energy, overall, uh, overall energy around the reading, I got the eight of 
uh, spades and I also got the chariot okay so I just let me know that you guys some of you guys are having issues when it comes to moving forward and I feel like it's because you some of you guys this is revolving around your children especially for those of you who have been in long-term relationships or others have this fear of the unknown especially if you having to release yourself from somebody who's extremely demanding extremely controlling uh, someone I am hearing some of you guys are fearing someone using the kids um, as a sense of leverage over your head for walking away from them and choosing your happy and I am feeling that that is tied to some type of ancestral cycle that is meant for you to break, but you're going to have to believe in everything that you cannot see, okay? So, overall, uh, message well, the angel message that I got for you guys. I'm also, I also pulled for you guys for finance because I did get some, um, some of the people who did kind of reach out to me like, Mocha, can we talk about the shmoney? I want the love, but can you tell me what's going on with my shmoney? Got you, okay? So, if I'm talking a little fast, it's because I'm trying to keep these videos not so damn long because I have so many to do in very little time, okay? <clears throat> overall angel message you guys got, overall angel, the angel message you guys got for the month is Archangel Gabriel, nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important right now. For some of you all, there's this sense of obsessing about the actual movement. And I feel like for some of you all, you're moving to a space where you're able to find peace. You're moving to a space that's going to bring you centeredness. In the month of September, some of you all are, some of you all are also needing to open up. If you're needing help around your children, even when it comes to you working and you being able to provide and you feel as if everything has to be on your back, open your damn mouth. Everybody that you're dealing with is not psychic, okay? They're going to need you to open your mouth and really trust yourself. Yourselves. Spirit is really working on you guys with the aspect of pride as well as being receiving. It's like you guys are praying for blessings, but some of them come through leverage of the help of through leverage from the help of others. And I feel like for some of you all, you've gotten so damn used to giving that you're recognizing during this time, I got an issue with receiving. Open up and allow. Try something that you have not tried when it comes to thinking outside of the box because you can't keep doing the same shit and expecting a new result. That's a form of insanity. Period. All right. So for some of you all, there's a focus around children. Also, a lot of you all need to open your mouth when it comes to receiving help around children. Some of you guys also may be experiencing conflict when it comes to some type of mother figure or the other parent. When it comes to how you take care of your child, your parental skills, your parenting, this person has a fear of it's like they need to be in control. You, Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who don't know life without being a damn chief, even though they fucking suck at being a chief because their decision making skills ultimately in, leads they ass to a path of destruction. But sometimes you got to sit back and let people fucking bump their own damn heads. And you can, the, the, I told you so ain't even fucking worth it. You just got to smile internally and be gracious and be, grat be grateful. OK, for the things that's unfolding right before you. Some of y'all, somebody thought that they had they left you at they left your ass for dead. OK, some of y'all, you finna boss up on a bitch in the month of September. And I mean that wholeheartedly. OK, some of you guys need to stop telling your business, your moves, telling your friends, your business, your moves, um, as well as your plans and your strategy going forward, because everybody not your friends. Some of y'all may experience somebody trying to steal an idea that you did not move on using the excuse of the fact that you did not move on it. It's a lesson they're saying, don't take the betrayal with you. Learn from it and go back and assess how many times and whoever this is, it's the same fucking person. If you want to know, I wonder who she's talking about. It's the same motherfucker who told you don't do it in the first place. Or for that matter, who set up who you talk to about the idea. And for some of y'all, this person, you, I feel like you've seen them do it before. Like this person is a swagger jacker. You get what I'm saying? They try to hang around people to benefit from their ideas. And when it does not work for them, they want to blame other people or for that matter, throw their damn envy and their negative perceptions off on other people. And spirit, it's spirit is saying for you guys to remove yourself from that energy, period. OK, so when it comes to your finances, you guys, I actually pulled three cards. OK, I got the seven of Pentacles. I got the sun card and I got the two of swords. OK. For you all, I feel that there's this need. One second, and I'm going to clarify too. I feel that there's a need for you all. Some of you guys are really fucking tired of your job. I feel like you show up for a damn paycheck. And for some of you all, it's because you are an innovator. You're supposed to be creating and innovating a path that's going to require for you to open up and take yourself out of this damn box that you put yourself in trying to play it safe. There's, a, there's an aspect around playing it safe. But Spirit is saying, hold your nuts. Okay, some of y'all may have Aquarius in your chart because I remember telling Aquarius, hold your, take the motherfuckers and sit them on the table. If you ain't got nuts, this is metaphorically speaking. God did not create you to be mediocre. Period. 
So you stop putting yourself in that box. Respect your God. Respect your goddesses. Okay. All right. So to clarify the seven of pentacles, I got the world card. Okay. So for some of you all, this has to do actually with where you invest your time at. Some of you guys don't want to be seen from this space of unreliable, not loyal, uh, undependable, you know. And I feel like for some of you all, you're stressing yourself out because you're kind of seeing and you know and you've already plot planned and strategized to already have this knowing that, damn it, will I be independent? If Some of y'all know I'm going to be independent. I'm going to be able to fend for myself, but there's an issue around letting things go. Some of you guys could also be experiencing spells of insomnia because you are obsessing over what move that you need to make, yet you're not making no moves. And Spirit is saying, I dare you to trust me and just jump off that cliff because what you don't know is, is that it's a whole bunch of damn, it's a whole bunch of damn pillars down there that's going to catch you. You're not going to hurt yourself. If anything, you're going to learn something from it. Some of you guys are supposed to be business owners, independent contractors. Some of you guys also may be looking into independent contracts. Others of you, there's some type of information that you didn't know about that may kind of put you in this space of in your fields. Okay. For some of you all, it's going to take you guys to have some type of experience, some type of sacrificial gain. So for some of you all, you may take a loss in the relationship sector. Or you may take a loss in the friendship sector, or you even may take a loss when it comes to being pushed out of this element that you been trying to hold on to the spirit is forcing you guys to see to see the wealth within your own within your own creations some of you all are business owners but you're not confident when it comes to starting your business you worry about what everybody else gonna say how's that shit working out for all the motherfuckers who got something to say when you get in your feelings and you you do step back step back sis step back bro and think about it this same motherfucker who told me, well, what if you move down now and this happened? Or what if you go here and this happened? Or what if you start this missing? But if I don't, I won't know. It's easy to look at the negative aspects about anything, regarding anything. But it's it's hard as fuck to focus on the positive when you see a whole bunch of damn burning bridges around you. Spirit is saying, keep going and believe in the aspects in which you cannot see. Because in the keeping of the going... In the going of the keeping, okay, you're going to find that things are going to miraculously fall in your lap as long as you're open to receive. You're being tested. It's pop quiz time, okay? So let's see what's going on in your love sector. <clears throat> yeah, some of you guys are going to be receiving a new job offer. You've been in your head about leaving the other job because it has to do with comfort. And Spirit is saying the newness is actually going to free you. Free up your time, your energy, your space, and bring you out of this energy of feeling conflicted, only showing up because you don't want to let your damn boss down because you're homies, you play golf or shit, or y'all go out and you're in some type of uh, book group or some shit together. Some of you guys, it's about moving forward, having the confidence to move forward, having that confidence to move forward. Take the experience with you, and the, and the, uh, the, the strength that the experience is building, okay? Hey, what message do you have in love? For the month of September, my beautiful copies. Someone rising in Venus. Some of you guys may feel stuck or trapped in a situation with a Pisces because you're having a hard time speaking the truth about the fact that you kind of want to release a situation. Some of you are also an honest conversation is going to be occurring between yourself and another uh in an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Both you guys usually want to move away from this, but I feel like you guys are wanting to do it with peace and harmony. But someone is going to be speaking their truth during this time, okay? Yeah. Land a situation to risk. If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of you guys are getting your, you, yeah, you're getting your, you're expressing yourself, you're getting your damn feelings. Pretty much, you're speaking your emotions, but not from an emotional state. You're speaking your emotions from a centered state, okay? And I feel like some of you guys, maybe you have the fear of being by yourself. You're, you're being forced to face a fear of being by yourself, okay? Others of you, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is a victim. I feel like you really want to revive a situation or a person, this person wants to revive a situation with you. However, they know that they fucked up really bad. And for some of y'all, the only leverage that they have is to even get into your world in accessing you that way and your emotions is your children. But this person is kind of living out their lack, their um, um, abandonment issues through you. Some of y'all could also be having somebody making you feel bad. Like, you just gonna leave me? You gonna leave your kids like that? No, bitch. <laughs> I'm leaving your ass. I'm not leaving my kids. Let's get that understood. Some of you guys, you didn't want to bring your kids as far as 
you don't want to you don't want to bring your kids in the conflict you want to allow them to stay children but it's like someone is continuously throwing you under the bus spirit is saying things are going to work out in your favor okay for some of you all in the month of September, you letting that damn fire. Some of y'all are getting truth about a fire sign who's connected to uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone who you have children with regarding as well. Some of y'all could also be careful if you don't want to get pregnant, Capricorn, because that energy is here. That's a very fertile energy if you're dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, or if you're dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all could have some type of truth exposed during this time for the person who you were dealing with. Now you're understanding why you were kind of forced to release a situation. And after you release a situation and truly walk away from whatever it is that has been a blockage to your money, I'm seeing. Because some of y'all have been dealing with a situation where a person was extremely needy. You can't even see your damn blessings or really be able to reap your harvest because you're in this energy of continuous self-sacrifice. Okay. For some of you all, um, some of y'all, if you're dealing with a... Uh, okay, I, said, I almost said cancer. Some of y'all could also be um, opening up and trying to heal a situation with the cancer. And I feel like when, do, if, when doing so, or if you actually allow this person the opportunity to open up to you, or you open up to this person, things are going to progress very fast, okay? For some of you all, you want this and you're expecting this that particular dynamic from a fire sign. However, the blockage is this person, you find out this person possibly has a new baby on the way as karma or as an out come to their fucking karmic bullshit and their low vibrational behavior of not being able to keep their thing in their pants okay some of you all are resisting walking away from a job that has become a blockage to not only your finances and the things that you want to do or your financial future but also to your home life i feel like some of you guys were possibly using work as a cover-up to deal with your emotions as far as fulfillment getting money but some of you all are kind of realizing that money isn't everything it doesn't buy happiness and for some of you all there's this aspect of somebody gonna have a conversation with their child this could be an adult child especially if the child is a water sign cancer pisces scorpio Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel a very feminine energy on this. So this could be your daughter. You could be the daughter. But someone is going to be healing some childhood wounds. And they need to work on this. And they need your participation in working on this. Because someone, either you or another person, is triggering the other person. Uh, when it comes, triggering the other person's childhood abandonment issues. And I feel like. Two people was trying to prevent their children from going through this, but it seems like there is more battle in trying to mend the situation or hold the situation together than there is walking away from it, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio, and I feel like this person could have been resisting change, resisting working on themselves, especially when it comes to their third-party bullshit, and you just got over it. You're walking away from that shit, and in doing so, you boss the fuck up. From this space where you once felt as if you were stuck, okay? What's keeping you stuck is the, is the failure and the resistance of ending this particular cycle. So some of you guys could feel stuck in a situation possibly with, an, with the Pisces, with an Aquarius, with the Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. But I feel like for some of you all, you're cutting yourself loose from this third party bullshit. And in doing so, a lot of you guys are going to meet your divine masculine, okay? For some of you all, you could be starting a new relationship, possibly with a Leo, possibly with an Aries or a Taurus person. For some of you all, you're finding out for Capricorn mean, you may be finding out that you are a father. There could be secrets coming out regarding someone who is married or someone who has uh, some type of family dynamic already. The children could even be adults and you have a side child. And I feel like this is a catalyst. This is this was the catalyst situation to release you from a from a situation that has been toxic, to move you to a situation that is very fruitful, one that you both can grow from, and one that supports your spiritual path and your growth. And for some of y'all, this is a past life. This is a past life relationship that you've been avoiding, even though it brings you happiness. You're making the decision to free your fucking self. And for some of y'all, you're having to involuntarily make that damn decision, okay? Some of you guys could have a water sign from your past. This could even have to do with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Capricorn towards Virgo. This person is a soulmate, however, but this person is still in this indecisive-ass energy on if they want to be with either the mother or father of their children or if they want to try to give to both situations until they find this sense of security in one of them. And Capricorn is like, fuck you, I'm leaving. Bye. Why would I invest in some shit? Why would I keep investing in some shit? Yeah, I understand we soulmates. We could even be twins.
But why would I keep investing in some shit that makes me feel less than? Does that make sense to you? Fuck no. All right. So, Spirit, what's your uh, what's your advice for Capricorn in love for the month of September? Spirit is saying, cut that shit short. Speak your mind. Express yourself. Some of y'all may be in uproar or some type of argument, okay? Some of you guys could be cutting off a Gemini or a Gemini could be moving away from you um, and wanting to explore their options. This person is ready to be free. Some of you guys could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, that wants victory with you. However, you having to break yourself from a commitment that has become toxic, okay? I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all is going to continue in this damn sneaky ass energy or keep allowing this sneaky person. In your damn world because you feel as if you can't not do better. There's this there's this fear around what's next or if I will have it. And spirit is saying, yes, you will have it. And it's actually going to manifest very fucking quickly. There's a lesson to learn from this. Some of you guys, the spirit is saying, cut off that fear. Love yourself and cut off that fear of solitude. Because it's like you guys are needing to go within yourself to really be real with yourself. In order to create this new space, allow this rebirth that's trying to happen with you guys when it comes to your love, to when it comes to your love life and the things that you allow in it and the way that you allow people to move in it. Spirit is saying, cut that bullshit, set up healthy boundaries, especially if this is revolving around any type of reconciliations or if this is revolving around some type of renewal where people are on the damn same page as one another. OK, it's at the bottom of the deck. Communication. Okay, so some of you guys could be get, receiving some type of communication or be could, could be communicating very childish, like playfully. Okay, like I said, I don't feel that the communication, but some of y'all is going to happen in an argument straight like that. But for some of you all, it's going to occur just playful conversation. Bring the playfulness back. Indulge in the playfulness. Allow yourself to not be so serious because this is what's attracting this. Okay. Some of y'all could actually be reaching out to a damn fire sign. Look out, boo. You my boo. I want to move forward. I made a judgment. I'm done with that bullshit. Let's do it. OK, but some of y'all, this person could have recently uh, reached out to you in the month of August. Intuitively, you know what the hell you, you know what the hell you need to do. Spirit is saying, be happy and allow yourself to indulge in the blessings that are trying to be bestowed unto you. But you holding on to some bullshit. All right. So will it be the blessings or the bullshit? The choice is yours, Capricorn. You guys let me know. Let me know how this resonates below. Thank you in advance for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, you guys. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. Y'all remember to check the damn um, community tab often because I'm going to be putting out a whole bunch of sales, okay, before I leave. Y'all know I'm financially friendly, boo. <laughs> and so we get it rocking, all right? So I love you all, and I will see you guys for the mid-month of September. Bye, babies.